Hi everybody. I'm here today with a different kind of project for me. I'm going to alter this frame in uh, the Mother Goose um, by Graphic 45. I'm going to cover the whole thing with the white gesso. Uh, well, not actually the whole thing. I'm going to cover the inside around the square and the outer perimeter and the outside edges because I want to put a, a layer of yellow over them. I've been doing a series of videos on Mother Goose trying to use the whole collection up. And this is about the fourth project now that I've used with the Mother Goose line. I just love it. I'm going to use the lemon and the buttercream in the gelatos. I didn't have any anything else around here that was yellow, so I figured, well, I'll try those and see if that'll work. And I just smoothed them out with some water, and it worked great. Oh, the the gelatos are just amazing to work with. I just love them. So I did the inside and the outer edges. I wanted um um this to be uh, yellow in contrast to the paper that I'm going to be putting on it. Now I'm going to use this Twinkle Twinkle Little Star paper. I turned it upside down, turned my frame upside down, and just traced the outline around it. And then I'm going to use my sister's cutter, Fisker's cutter, to cut out the the paperwork. And I'm going to lay it back down. Oh, corner chomp! I corner chomped with a quarter inch corner chomper around the corners to match the frame. Trace the inside and cut it out also use my cutter again because I'm not too well good at cutting a straight line by by myself. I need all the help I can get. Just trim the little pieces there out of the corners with my um, cutter bee scissors. And now I'm going to use Eileen's Collage Paws to uh, adhere this to my frame. And I'm just going over. I don't care how messy it is. doesn't matter. I'm just putting a real good coat on the back of that. And then I'm going to attach it to the front of the frame. And then I'm going to go back over it with a fairly heavy coat of the collage posh and put it back for a while to dry. This is how it looks when it's completely dry. And now you can see how nice the yellow looks with that. I did use the black licorice gelato all around the edges, outside and inside, so that there weren't any white edges showing. This is Mother Goose that I fussy cut from the uh, collection and I'm using Fabri-Tac to glue her down to the top left corner of the frame. And I just touched up again with that black licorice all the way around. That's how I covered the back with the black cardstock and that's just the little stand that I showed you there. I took a paper bag and I cut the handles off of it and I wanted this to be the handle to the basket that Mother Goose is in. So I just used some hot glue and tucked it behind her wing and behind her body. Sorry about jerking the tripod there. And now I have these petaloo blossoms and some flowers that I had made myself out of just some um, cotton fabric. And I'm just uh, adding some of these little netting petals to them. And then I'm going to use this uh, Webster's sparkly piece for the middle of the green one. I'm layering my yellow one that I had made with the netting. And then there's one that's almost like um, oh, a piece of wood, it looks like. And I'm just layering them all together, get the look I like, and add the yellow one through the middle of this one. So I'm going to have the green one in the middle and the two yellow ones on the lower left-hand side of the frame. Just playing with them until I get them the way I like. And then when I get them positioned to the way I like, then I glue them together with the hot glue. Now I'm going to glue them down to the base of the frame. Tuck this yellow one in here to the left. And then the other one... Just fussy fluffing up the, the petals there. I'm going to curl these up because they were just, they're a bigger petal there and I just wanted them to have a little bit more dimension, tucking them underneath. I, I used the yellow flower for the center of that one, but it was so yellow, so I took this mango colored gelato, wet down the yellow flower and just dabbed it with the gelato and then worked it in with my fingers. It worked just perfectly. 
And now I'm tucking in some of these lacy petals. And I'm going to use a few more of those um, sparkler um, things from Webster's, Webster's Pages. Those little dazzler things, those little gemstones. Tuck them in here and there. And this is how it's finished. You can see the dimension it has there on the front. And Mother Goose. And then there's the back. That's the little stand there. And then I took Humpty Dumpty and Fussy cut him out of the paper and attached him with a, a little clip from Tim Holtz. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked today's project. Bye-bye now.